Hello everyone. Are you confused by all the controls in the cab? Let's take a quick tour. You can start on the left side, which is the fireman's side here. Uh, I'm going to turn on the cab light in here so we can see a little bit better. And in fact, we'll start right here. The right side controls the lamp for the water glass and the boiler gauge. And the left side controls the headlight. For now, we'll leave it off so we don't drain the battery. The leftmost con um, control is the left side injector. The bottom is the water. On top is the steam. Right next to it is the water glass. On the Disneyland Railroad, we try to keep between one to one and a half nut. Bottom here is the water glass drain valve, sorry, water glass, water supply valve. Below it, the ball, ball valve here is the drain valve. At the top, you follow the piping here, it's connected to another valve. This is the water glass steam supply valve. Both valves have to be open in order for the water glass to indicate correctly. If one of the valve is closed or clogged, for example, you will get an erroneous reading on the water glass as you see here. Right next to the water glass, we have the blower. You can hear the blower is working and is affecting the fire down here. Next to it is the steam atomizer. On the boiler head over here next to the boiler gauge is the blow down valve. This is the uh, air compressor lubricator. On top here is the steam supply. The steam enters from this branch, mixes in with the lubrication oil in this cylinder, and exits. How can we see it better? Exit over here. So both of these valves have to be open. You can control the amount of lubrication entering the, the air compressor with the metering valve here at the bottom. Next, right in the center is the life of the engine, the boiler gauge. Uh, historically, uh, engine number one and number two run at 125 PSI. Um, after the overhaul, the latest overhaul, it now is run at 150. Next to it is the air gauge. The black is the pressure in the air tank, and the red is the pressure in the air brake system. This big red valve is the header valve. It supplies steam from the boiler to all the appliances. Behind the head of valve is the boiler shutoff gauge. You want to make sure that this valve is open, otherwise the boiler, will also, boiler gauge will also not indicate correctly. Moving over to the right side, that's the engineer side. We of course have the throttle, this bar here. Push forward is closed, pull is open. Right next to the throttle, we also have the same set of injector control. Top is the steam, and bottom, where is it? The bottom is the water. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay, so right next to the water, uh, water valve for the injector. This brass handle is the air brake quick release. You right click on it in the sim. And this is the air brake stand. Push to bleed, pull to add, pull all the way is your e-stop. This is the cylinder drains. Pull is open, closed, Oh, forward is closed. 
While we stop, we normally leave this pull back to open the drains. Below the at the or at the base of the air brake stand is the sander. You right click on this. This is the top tricock valve at a normal uh, water level. If you draw a line across here, this should come out as steam. And there it is. At the bottom tricock valve, this should come out as water. So you see the steam coming out, that's because the water that's coming out is pressurized. So when it exits the, the boiler, it does turn to steam. So you look for the nozzle of the of the tricock valve here and you can see water coming out. Okay, we'll close that. Right below that is the air valve that goes to the blowdown valve. This needs to be open in order to use the blowdown. Here is the Johnson bar. You push this forward to go forward. Center is neutral and you pull it back to go back. This should have been left in the center while we stop. At the bottom is the fire, docks, uh, fire box door. Right click on it to unlock it and then you can pull on it to open. We're going to keep it closed because it's pretty hot with it open. Moving back up. So if we follow the header valve here, it supplies steam into this manifold that's behind the boiler gauge. This pipe here is the manifold. Steams, uh, there's steam in here that branches out to other appliances, like the, the injectors on both sides, you can follow it, as well as the air compressor, the blower, and the atomizer steam. Uh, the one in the center is the compressor. In order to operate the compressor, you would open this valve. Next one is, I believe it's the blower. We can follow it, just to be sure. Yep, so this goes to the blower, and the next one is the atomizer. So there's, that's another way you could control the, the steam pressure to these appliances is by using these valves. Um, for example, um, if I open the, uh, the steam on the atomizer here, here, I could also close it here. Normally these are just left open. Up on top, on the left side, we have the bell. Speedometer here, up above the, the engineer's window, measure in feet per second. And of course, the whistle. And that's it. Those are the basic controls in the cab of the CK Holiday and the EP Ripley. See ya.